What up, y'all? It's your boy Chance. Um, back again here with a daily video. Now I know I know I do a lot of rant videos and shit, but this one is kind of needed, honestly. You know, and it's kind of aimed at, you know, a lot of these new school rappers and artists and producers that just, they don't, res they don't, like, the ones I have no respect for. Like, don't get me wrong. I do respect a lot of y'all, man. Like, my boy Ian, Eric Scrubbelo, like, the guys that I work with, I respect them. 110%, my buddy Michael Mitchell, I, I have a lot of respect for him. But it's a lot of these young bloods that are coming up in the music scene that I just I don't have respect for. And there's a reason for that. Like, you know, a lot of these young cats, especially a lot of y'all coming up, y'all think that you guys are gonna be like the next, you know, Drake or the next Lil Wayne or this or that, and blah blah blah. blah. Like, and this is where I have the issue, honestly. Like, why try to be the next, you know, Lil Wayne or Drake or whatever? Like, why not be the first you? You know, like, and it's sad because, like, especially from a an artist's point of view or a traditional producer like myself, that does loop style beats in the old school way. Like it, it's sad to see where a lot of you guys, you know, are coming from. Like a lot of you guys are like, oh, you know, I want to be this or that. Well, like I said, man, instead of focusing on being the next this or that, be the first you, man. Stop trying to be the next Drake or the next Dr. Dre or the next Eminem or whatever, man. Be the first you. And I get criticized for the way I do my instrumentals and my beats because a lot of you young cats out there that are just coming up in the music scene, a lot of you guys don't respect, a lot of y'all don't respect the ways that we used to do things. Even in the 90s, the 80s, the 90s, like I grew up there in the 90s, but generally everything was the same. You know, you made a loop style beat and then somebody rapped over it and it turned out dope. There's a lot of artists that have done that shit. Eminem, Tupac, Biggie Smalls, fucking Wu-Tang Clan. They did it a lot. Um, Beastie Boys actually did it a lot as well. Like you listen to a lot of their music. And they did it a lot. But that's one reason why I don't really get anywhere in my music because I don't do stuff the traditional new school way. I do everything old school. You know, I don't believe in this super intricate, you know, have this and that with that and that and that. Like, I don't believe in doing, doing super intricate shit. I believe in keeping it simple. And I want to tell you something. I'm one of the few artists left in the world that knows how to truly make, you know, good combinations of music that shouldn't sound good together. And there's very few of us left in this world. Because a lot of y'all don't do like I do. A lot of you guys don't do the simple but good sounding instrumentals anymore. Y'all want this super syllabalistic, intricate shit. And yet none of y'all want to work your basics. Like none of y'all young artists out there, aside from the ones that I mentioned that I'm cool with, want to work your basics. You know, y'all want to have this super heavy crack-ridden trap beat that just, it doesn't make sense. Like, you guys don't work your basics. You guys don't appreciate where music, especially in the hip-hop industry side of music, like, y'all don't respect where it started. And that's one reason why I do have trouble selling beats is because I keep it simple. I keep it smooth, steady, simple. I keep it clean collected I keep it you know good
like you know and it's sad to see y'all doing what you're doing like you guys don't respect old school artists like myself anymore like i hate the fact that y'all don't respect it and in order to be able to be truly good you guys gotta do your history man and a lot of you guys don't do your history you study your favorite rapper and that's it started you guys don't even bother to try to you know combine old school stuff with new school stuff y'all always are just so try hard on trying to be like the next drake or the next you know x or whoever your favorite artist is and it, it's sad you guys get so caught up in that shit that you guys don't focus on being the best you that you can be instead of being like these other artists man be the first you instead of being like you know drake or lil wayne or whoever be you man do what you do like stop trying to be like everybody else try to be you man do the first you let the world see the first you not the next drake or the next Trey songs or whatever like dude that shit's overrated and i'll be straight honest man that kind of shit is overrated it really is like why should it matter how you make your music as long as you're making it and that's one that's another thing that gets me i get a lot of shit because i do loop style beats i make my stuff by loops but as i've explained before i have a chromebook which currently is acting up and going out of whack so i'm not really able to do much but when i am able to do stuff you know, I do my stuff loop style. I start from the ground up. And I get criticism for that a lot. I really do. Like, I get a lot of a lot of criticism for that. You know, some people love it. Some people hate it. Whether you love it or hate it, it don't matter. At the end of the day, as long as I'm making my beats myself, that's what truly matters. And yeah, I know I am supposed to be retired from the music industry. But, you know... There's just so much going on that I can't retire yet. Like, I see so much going on that I just, I can't sit aside and not do anything. Like, it's so fucked up that it just, it irritates me. And that's for you producers, man. Why y'all gotta overcharge people? Like, I don't get it. Like, I've explained this before. Why not sell your stuff flat out and make double the money instead of making a little bit? You want me to tell you something? 10 beats for $10, that's a pretty damn good deal. Like, you guys got to admit, man, that's a good deal. And a lot of your artists, they don't want high-end, high price. They want high-end, low price. That's what they really want. They don't want to pay hundreds of dollars, man. They want to be able to save money. They want to be able to, you know, save as much money as they can while getting a good quality beat. And yeah, I haven't made any money doing it, but it's because y'all got these fucking artists wanting to pay high price and criticizing the way that I do shit, which ultimately makes it harder for me to do anything. And y'all wonder why I don't respect a lot of you new school artists that are coming out. That's exactly why. Because you guys don't respect, you know, the way that, you know, we used to do things back in the 90s. You guys don't respect where hip hop came from or how the beats that we make created and developed into the ones that you guys have now. Like I said, I'm sorry I do stuff the way that I do them. But, you know, I'm old school. I do shit old school. I don't do this new school, you know, lease this, sell that, lease this, do this like that. You know, try to be like this person. No, I don't do that. Like I said, I'm one of the few true artists out there that could take several styles that don't normally work together and make them work. I'm one of the very few artists left that can actually do that shit successfully 
And I've had many people telling me and asking me, you know, why am I not getting anywhere with any of this? It's because people are not willing to give the old school style a chance again. They're not willing to give that old school style a shot again, which honest, I'll be honest, that old school style needs to be brought back. You know, that old school way of doing stuff like I do it needs to be brought, you know, it needs to be brought back. Because like I said, this new school, crack-ridden, heavy, intricate, you know, trap beat style bullshit, it's overrated. Artists like Drake are way overrated. So like I said, for all you young cats that are coming out doing music, man, instead of trying to be like everybody else, You know, instead of trying to be like Drake or whoever, be like you, man. Instead of being the next Drake, be the first you, man. Hey, Monica, what's up? I will hit you up as soon as I'm done with this live stream for sure. But, you know, like that's kind of, you know, my rant for the day. Um, I am going to try, tr keyword is try to do, you know, some beats for you guys and post them up on Bloodshot. I don't know if I can or not because... My computer is fucking up really bad, and I'm not able to, you know, really download any beats or anything, which suck. Like, I'm not able to, uh, pardon me, like, I'm not able to, you know, record any songs, which sucks, because I have a lot on my mind that I wanted to record today. But, unfortunately, I can't, which sucks. But I will try to do some beats here and there and stuff. I will try to do some dubstep tracks for you guys. Keyword is try. I don't know if I'll be able to. Um, I am going to go live on Mixer as well. So if you guys have Mixer or Twitch. Um, actually, I don't know if I'll be able to go live on Twitch or not. Because my game patch just ended today. So I don't know if I'll be able to do that or not. I'm hoping I can. But I do have GTA 5. I got it last Saturday. So I'll be able to you know, do some cool stuff with that. I might pull some stunts and what. Maybe do a few races. Maybe do some custom builds. But uh, with that being said, guys, I'm about to hop off here, see what I can do, and I'll catch you guys later. And Monica, I will message you as soon as this is done, actually here in a minute. So with that being said, love you guys. And, you know, and I hope that you young artists don't take offense to what I said, but I hope it makes you realize, you know, what you guys are doing. But with that being said, man, peace.